Hi guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at how to get notified about people making changes to your files in Teams. So by the end of today's video, you'll know how to go and set that up. You'll also know how to go and do that in SharePoint if you want to know the SharePoint site. And we'll talk about why you might want to do that. I'm Gavin Jones. I'm Transformation Manager for Fortune 500 Company. And all of our tips on YouTube have come out of real life examples or comments from YouTube viewers, which this one has. We've got a new video on Teams coming out every Tuesday. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you haven't already, we've got a free download. Click the link in the description below to get a training deck that goes along with our basic tutorial series with all of the basic tips written down in one place for easy access. Or we can use that as a basis to train other people in your organization. So let's get in and have a look at how to set up alerting on files. <laughs> Okay, so when you first onto Teams, it is a different way of working. People get quite nervous about working out in the open because it is such a different cultural change. And one of the main things they're worried about is people seeing and more so uh, messing up their files. So they're worried about people going to their files and uh, wrecking them. And basically they don't know when people are going in or not. And we have got another video on how to lock that down. So you can still do read only on files. People can't get in there and change stuff anyway. And we've also got a, a how you, why you shouldn't be worried about that, but you can see every single change that anyone's making to a file in Teams and just roll back to a previous version. Um, but this is a question we had on one of our other YouTube videos about how I can get notified when people are making changes. So you might not be worried about people making a change, but you still want to know when someone's done the work or you've instructed people to go and update it. Um, and you want to know when they've done it without them probably um, letting you know, or you know, if you've got a number of people to go in, you can get notified every time there's a change so you not keep going in there and checking that stuff's done. So if we just jump into a folder where you might want to set up an alert, you can set up as many alerts as you want on as many folders as you want throughout the hierarchy in the folder structure. So we just go into the testing channel, into the files tab, and we're going to pick, say, test folder one. And you can do this in any SharePoint site. It's been available for quite a long time, but I guess people don't uh, mentally make the link between SharePoint and Teams. So in any files tab, you can click open in SharePoint. You get uh, jumped out into your browser and you can see all the files just in the SharePoint view rather than viewing them in Teams. And then all you want to do is click on the, if you've got all this stuff going on at the top, um, it'll be hidden under this three, uh, three dot menu. You could set up a really complicated, well, not really complicated, you could set up a more complicated flow to do some sort of alerts, but there's an alert me function uh, right in SharePoint files and folders. So we're going to click alert me. It says alert me when items change. So anything in that test folder one, is going to send alerts to me. You can set up alerts for other people as well if you wanted to. Um, you can set it to send me uh, email alerts uh, or SMS. I've never tried SMS actually. I'm not sure if that's a different license or anything. Um, but I definitely don't want text messages about people changing uh, changing files and folders. Uh, a email alert is fine. And then you can send me alerts when you get all changes, just new items added. This the ones that are modified or items deleted. So all, all changes is all three of those, obviously. And then send alerts for these changes. So anything changes or just someone else changes, someone else changes a document that's created by you or someone else changes a document that's last modified by you. So again, anything changes is all of those. You probably don't want to alert every time you, uh, you change a document because obviously you know that you've changed it. There's no point in getting an alert for that. So it might be worth putting someone else changes a document. And then you can either get alerts immediately, daily or weekly. And uh, depending on how urgent it is, you might want to pick one of those. Click OK. And that's it. You've got yourself an alert. You can then manage my alerts. So you can go back in. It will jump you to see what alerts you've got on that site. And when it says that site, that obviously means that team because the site is the SharePoint site that's associated with that team. And then you can see all of the alerts you've got set up. So if you want to set one up for uh, multiple folders, you would just do exactly the same thing. Um, pick the folder you wanted 
and then go in and set alert up. If you picked up higher up the tree, you would get uh, alerts for anything underneath uh, that folder. So say if you set it up in general, uh, without diving into a folder, you'd get notified every time anyone made any change to any file or folder or anything underneath general. Um, or you can just pick whichever ones you want. So then just click into it, you can see all the same options we've got and you can delete it if you want, but that's how you can easily set up an email notification. Again, if you want to do anything more complicated, you could then just use uh, the flow button and create a flow from there. Um, it's going to have lots of different um, options. You can customize the email message. You could even probably get it to post back into the team if you wanted to. Um, lots of stuff you can go and have a look at yourself. But if you just want a really quick way of getting notified anytime someone updates the file, that's how to do it and it's already built in. You will get an email though. So hopefully that made sense. Uh, let us know if you liked it or not. Give the video a like. Let us know in the comments below if you're gonna use it. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't already. We've got a new video on Teams coming out every Tuesday. And if you haven't already, click the free download link in the description below for a free training deck that goes along with our basic training series on YouTube. And then lastly, if you wanna get better at running meetings, check out metimeapps.com or search for MeTime in the iOS app store for our app that helps people run better meetings and save time. Thanks for watching so far, and we'll see you in the next video.